Hi friends, I'm the vegan. <laughs> I make a juice today because today is my gentle juice fasting day. Once a week, I drink only juices, plant milks, water of course, and whatever is drinkable. <laughs> because I want to put my digestion to rest. No digestion. Juices are, you take the fiber away, the things that you cannot digest in the food, you take it away, you filter it with a juicer, presumably. You can also have a filter, yeah, a fine microfilter, it's also possible, but it's nicer with a juicer. And um, then the nutrients go directly into the bloodstream. So you have full energy, because you're only on regular days, yeah, with a healthy nutrition, 60% of the energy from the food is taken for digestion. 60% the bulk. So in juice fasting days, there's no energy taken for digestion. All, all the energy is into the body, into the system to, yeah, to cleanse, to purify, yeah, to self-reflect, to be creative. I feel more intense because the energy is fully there for my use, not for digestion. So that's, I'm looking forward to that. In the beginning, if you begin to do that, the fasting, uh, regularly, might be a little bit of strain because it is, can be hard to detoxify the, the body, especially if the body has been, um, you have eaten a bad diet, you live in maybe in a, in a bad environment, yeah, with a lot of toxins, then it's, it's maybe hard, painful to get rid of the toxins. But uh, for that reason, um, my yoga teacher it, it, it has a, a method that we call gentle juice fasting. Gentle means you always feel great and you never uh, push yourself. You, if you notice that it is too hard, headache, nauseous feeling, whatever, yeah, you don't slow down, you just eat a little bit. That moment, that way, you can always keep the energy flow inside. It's also called Triyoga Moon Fasting. Triyoga is the flow, the yoga of the flow. The flow yoga is triyoga. Triyoga, the flow came into yoga in 1980 by Yogini Kaliji, Kali Ray. Um, she was enlightened with a high energy flow and that is still ongoing until today. And this energy flow, she saw, she knows, she tells us that the energy flow is important um, for all the healing in the body, for example. And if you keep this energy flowing, yeah, then your body heals. So if you, if you begin to feel pain and stress and anxiety, energy is stopped. For being happy, the energy has to flow free. So you have to cleanse the body to move in all directions to make this energy flow possible. It's a very simple principle, everybody understands. Look at the animals in nature, you will see. They are free to move, they are elegant because the energy flows, they heal by themselves, usually, yeah, normally. <laughs> if we don't disturb them <laughs> yeah so juice fasting is a way gentle juice fasting especially is a way uh, for everybody because the flow is uh, always in the center the flow of energy the free flow the good great the great feeling yeah, the light is always in the center and we, we always focus on that great feeling we always observe ourselves uh, are we feeling great now or are we feeling bad? Are we doing something wrong? Should we change something? And yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy. And these great juices, you know, fresh juice is delicious, looks beautiful. Yeah? And it is fun to drink it. It's very energetic. And if you only do it once a week, yeah, there's no problem. You don't need to see a doctor for that. Yeah, that everybody can, can do a juice fasting day. Yeah, there's no problem. Okay, if your doctor says you don't, shouldn't do that, then listen to the doctor, of course, but usually there's no problem. If you begin to fast, all kinds of fasting has been uh, now undergone uh, scientific scrutiny, scrutiny. All kinds of fasting have a, sort, a certain uh, danger. Yeah? They always say, um, there is a problem for these and these persons, could happen, you know, but it didn't happen for gentle juice fasting. No problem has been found. I don't know if they, if they, if they looked for it, but usually fasting is uh, zero calories. Yeah. Usually they fast without calories. Yeah. Uh, and that causes then a little strain on the system. It can be tough. You have to be used to it. You have to be practiced. You have to be already prepared. Yeah. 
And that's sort what of yoga schools teach. Yeah? If you want to fast, you have to be prepared. Vegan diet and so on and so on. No smoking, yeah? no alcohol for a while. Then you can do the uh, water fast. Yeah? Yeah. Or it's these strong things for. But then you should do also, you have to, you, uh, you have to, should better go to a doctor. But gentle juice fasting is the easy way. Everybody can do it. You try it. You drink a juice. If you feel great, continue. Yeah. Next day you begin to eat again. Yeah. And if you don't feel great, you eat something. Have a smoothie or a light salad or broth or something. You can't go wrong with it. It's the normal way to live. Just a little bit less calories. <laughs> Lighter for the body. So that's, that's all. And no over excess doing. Not several days, two days. No, just one day to begin with and then keep that on for forever. Yeah? That's why it's effective. Yoga, I learned that my lesson early on in yoga. I learned um, it's a way of life that suits me very well because um, it's a, a gentle way of living. You go, always go ahead on your path. You make success after excess, success. Uh, and you don't overdo anything. Your moderation is a principle. And that leads the, far, the farthest way. My daddy was in the opposite uh, camp. He said, no, I live now. I want to have excess. I want to drink alcohol. I eat, I smoke. That was his decision. And I said, but daddy, you will die early. He said, it doesn't matter, but I lived, I had fun. That was his decision. He died early, or actually, we were all very unhappy, but he decided that. You know, later, when it came to his, his death, yeah, and he became sick, he began to, uh, to re regret it. Yeah, really, he did. It was very sad to see. Yeah, for, for me, the decision was very early because I, I, because I loved him a lot. You know? I still love my dad. He was in my mind always. He's a wonderful man. But you know, these decisions, yeah, we had, dad didn't have yoga at that time. Yeah, 50 years ago, people didn't talk about yoga in Germany. Nobody did. It was the yeah, TV, there was a TV show with yoga. But nobody did it, actually. Yeah. Now, people understand these things better. Our Western culture begins to understand well, that many things from the Eastern culture, from India, from China, are very important for us, too. Yoga is one of that. And the fasting, yeah, the fasting is something that comes also here in Europe, but in all cultures on the planet. But the gentle juice fasting is something new. The gentle juice fasting is a really nice way um, to keep it going uh, in a yoga style way, you know. Um, moderation, moderation, continuity, that is long time success. And you can't fail. You always have an over overview of everything, the oversight. Yeah, the simple principle. Um, now I will begin. Uh, the juice, yeah, it is a, you may have talked a long today, and I'll a long, uh, give a long story about uh, gentle juice fasting and a little bit um, um, the idea of fasting in general and how uh, gentle juice fasting is special and easy and for everybody. Yeah. And um, in the cultural context too a little bit. Um, and I talked a little bit longer, it's, it's a little bit... Um, with regard to the recipe I have today, it's a complex recipe. And usually, you know, my recipes are usually very simple. I have a dim with three ingredients yeah, or three parts. Uh, and to make it very simple and easy to understand, to feel, you know, I directly experience of the ingredients is important um, to have oversight, to have, be aware. Um, it's a success principle. If you are aware, you notice when something goes wrong. You can always change the way a little bit. Yeah? There's always a way to do that. Um, but this time, the recipe is complex. It is uh, composed of three main juices, classical juices. And there's a, first, there's an apple carrot juice here. I have some carrots here and I have some apples here. You can juice them. Yeah? Apples and carrot juice is delicious by itself. It's one of my classical juices. If I want to have a juice at night or so before I go to bed, it can happen that I put some carrots and some apples into a juicer and enjoy. Maybe a lemon or so. Maybe not. It's delicious and wonderful to go to bed. The next juice is um, a beet orange juice. Another classic. A little bit more complex because beet is a complex flavor by itself. It's earth flavor, but it has a lot of hidden sugars. And when they put it with the orange together, you have a, a, pretty much a large beet here with the three oranges, yeah, you don't taste the scratching in the throat after drinking beet juice with oranges. When you drink beet 
juice on its own just beat it begins to scratch in the throat after 20 minutes or so and it just keeps for hours it is not really uh, not, no, it's not serious nothing happens you don't need to go to the doctor on that but but it is not pleasant you don't want to have that it goes away but the orange it doesn't happen so the classic orange beet juice yeah wonderful juice and um, maybe with a lemon too again yeah, again yeah, yeah. And the next juice is um, kale juice that's even a little bit more complicated because kale is not only a the uh, uh, green leafy green with the highest nutrient content here yeah, that is a, a lot of kale I pressed it it's made more than two cups uh, with the stems it's also uh, can be bitter if you do it, make a kale juice you have the most healthy one of the healthiest juices ever but it doesn't taste well <laughs> it can be bitter you don't like it so that's why it's good to combine kale with for example let's say a pear here I have some pears and a little bit of lemon you know, kale pear juice three pears or two and lemon I have two lemons here it's a large portion of lemons because these lemons they are not only for the kale juice, the pear juice, they are also for the carrot and apple juice, and they are also nicely with the beet, beet and orange juice. You don't need lemon for beet and orange. Beet and orange by itself perfect, but you can. So that is, these are the three main juices, you know, beet, orange, um, carrot, apple, and kale, pear, lemon. So three main juices combined. I did that before, and if you bind, combine these classic juices, you have a very strong and powerful flavor. There's a lot of different nutrients. You get a very power shot with this juice. So it's very nutritious. It's high energy. It really wakes you up. Yeah, it's so exciting. And it, of course, has to be delicious. Yeah? But I know um, these juices together are wonderful. They play wonderfully together. Apples, pears, oranges, yeah? carrots, beets, kale. It's perfect. Yeah? What I now add is a seasoning to this. The seasoning is Another very nice story with a cilantro. Here I have a big bunch of cilantro. This is the Chinese parsley, they say. Yeah. And many people don't like it in, in the Western because it, they say it tastes like soap. But it, it does only taste like soap if you don't combine it with other ingredients. Yeah. If you fill it into uh, other flavors that are strong, Asian cuisine is often, oftentimes strong with ginger, yeah, with chili, yeah, with uh, acidity, you know, they have soy sauce and these kind of things, sugar they put in. So very strong flavors, they talk to the tongue very strongly. Then cilantro all of a sudden tastes nice, very nice, it's very harmonious. And this is a very strong flavor here with the three main juices, the carrot, beet and um, kale juice. And with the cilantro, I will try now to season this strong juice with this strong herb, with the um, cilantro. And the other story with the cilantro is that it is a very important herb, it's a green herb, like parsley. Um, it is for a reason that they call it the Chinese parsley, because it is the same health benefits. The cilantro, both, and parsley, they can um, take the heavy metals out of the body. And not many can do that. Greens in general are good for that, but parsley and uh, cilantro are perfect for that. So eating a regular berry base of parsley or cilantro is very important because it gets you rid of the heavy metals and they can do a lot of harm in the body. Heavy metals are not good for us, yeah? especially um, when they are toxic. Yeah? They destroy the DNA. Yeah? We don't want that. So parsley and kale are very healthy. And the last ingredient here yeah, to make it round is um, ginger, a good piece of ginger four, five, six inches, because I have a lot of juice of ginger root. Um, together with lemon, lemon and ginger together are always, a, oftentimes, a good um, couple to highlight the other flavors, to make the other flavors in the recipe more prominent, more intense, to round it up. So it doesn't so much add an own flavor, the own flavor it makes it warmer, hotter, you know, more intense, yeah. It adds, uh, it adds to the quality, quality of the others. So it's a good buy, buy seasoning, both lemon and ginger. You can use it in different ways, but I prefer in this recipe to use the lemon and the ginger a little bit 
as a boost of the other flavors. So I begin juicing now a lot of talk here. I want to explain a little bit how I make these flavors, combining basic recipes I already know, to something new and to add a seasoning in the cilantro. A little bit of the health benefits of the cilantro I told you and how gentle juice fasting works and that it works for everybody. So a little bit of talk today. Please forgive me. I guess um, some people uh, already told me they like this kind of introductory talk. So sometimes you will hear some long talks here, but sometimes I keep it very short. On a fasting day, I feel inspired to explain a little bit. Yeah. It's a juice video after all. Uh, it's not a complicated recipe. But this one uh, is a little bit more complicated than usual. So I begin now. In a moment I'm back and I taste it in front of your eyes. Now that's, that's more than a liter, it's a big juice and the color is really a Bordeaux color, very really dark red uh, direction purple, that means a lot of power in there. I saw it, I mixed a little bit the juices, I have two batches here, mix it a little bit so everything is now homogeneous, I have two of these containers and you, you have such a large amount of ingredients, you, know, you, you afterwards you have to mix it so that's one juice. I will taste it now. Let's see. Yeah, nice. So the texture is very nice. It's runny, but a little bit thick and creamy. I like that. Now let's taste it. Oops. Mm. That's really amazing. With these, when I make juices with three, four parts, main parts, all basic recipes, then you have really a completely new flavor. And it's almost impossible to define it, to understand what is in there now. But that's exciting, you know, I make recipes usually where I have always the oversight, the awareness, what is in the ingredient, what is in the ingredient list, how do, how do I taste it, how do they play together. And so when I have these basic recipes, and I know them very well, the red beet orange juice, for example, I know it very well, and the other ones, I know them. So what, do, what happens when they play together? It's very exciting. And really new flavors come, come into, come into um, existence. And these are completely new um, flavors. I don't have a name for that. Complex flavors, but very well. Very nice flavors. I show you now what that looks like. This, you have to taste for yourself. It's really exciting. And it's really a powerful juice. It's a high energy juice. <laughs> See what's in there, the good things. The best of a plant is in there. Yeah. Of course, not on a regular eating day. Uh, it's recommended, medical advice is that you eat the whole plant, of course, that's more important. Um, so uh, eating a plant or a smoothie is usually more healthy than drinking a juice because uh, in the fiber that was not digestible, there also is a large amount of very important uh, nutrients we find lately phytonutrients of a certain kind, antioxidants of a certain way, a certain kind, they are activated by these fibers. And if you leave it away, uh, a very important part of the nutrition of a plant is away. Yeah. So in general, it's always recommended to eat the whole fruit. Yeah. Don't be mistaken. But on a fasting day, it turns upside down. We don't digest. Yeah. It's a different situation. And you shouldn't expand it too long because it's really for the whole system, for the whole body and mind, it turns things upside down in a way. You take the energy in a different way. Um, so, yeah, um, but in general, so whole food diet, of course, important. Plant-based whole food diet, of course, always recommended. But on a fasting day, we have these wonderful nutrients, very condensed, the essence of a plant, so to say. And it goes directly to the bloodstream. Different experience. I like it. I won't miss it anymore. And um, if you like, if you're interested, you can go to Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. That's a Facebook page where some people are too many. I share always uh, once a week. I make a new juice recipe. There is a moon calendar for the best fasting days. There are you know, some differences um, where which day of the fasting is better or not. But that's not so important. Most important is once a week. One full day and night. No eating, just drinking. That's the idea. And if it gets too much, you just slow down, eat a little bit, a light salad, a smoothie with a fiber. Yeah. So then you feel great again. Always feel great. So that's easy. That's the best. And there are refinements, of course. Yeah. But by time, you get to know these things. Moon calendar or so. Yeah. Of course, important. Once a week, consistently. 
plan ahead, you know, don't disturb your other things. You know, your, your regular schedule should not suffer from that. It should fit into this kind of schedule. A little bit of planning is ahead is important. And you get enough, you go grocery, you get enough fruit, veggies, you know, what you need for the fasting, then you plan ahead a little bit. The planning ahead is important for the fasting. And most important, it can you can ruin everything if the next day after the fasting you break your fast and you eat too much, it can ruin everything. And the, the system, the body is very sensitive after that fasting experience and you have to eat slowly, yeah? just an apple to begin with or a light salad or something. Not too much fat, you know, not too heavy, not so much protein. The lighter things, you know, from if you begin from the trees, you go to the bushes and then you go under the earth yeah? and so on. So very, very easy to begin and not overeating. That's a challenge a little bit. Fasting, you know, you want to eat more, you have to have a little bit of discipline you don't eat, and the next day you want to eat even more. You think, oh, I'm, not, I'm still hungry, but you aren't really hungry. You just think you are hungry. It's a little bit of confusion after that. So the breaking of the fast can be very important. But to me, it's a real challenge every time. So after all these years fasting, the breaking of the fast is still, to me personally, a little challenge. I have to control and say, no, no, I eat slow now. One apple, enough. One banana, enough. Yeah. And then pause. Later, a little bit more. Seven or so. so it's very important. It's easy, but you have to put your mind on it. Yeah. Once you really want to do it, you decide to do it, it's easy. But if you don't think about it, it's overwhelming. You don't think about it, you eat and eat and think about something else and check, <laughs> you're ruined the fasting. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's important. That's one more advice. Yeah. It's important for everybody, I guess. It's important to break the fast in a considerable and aware way. Okay, that's it. Now a long talk. <laughs> Big juice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If so, like my um, video, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube to have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. See you soon.